We're trying to have a little bit of fun before we get to the yeah this ba- nasty week. <laughs> they open the floodgates, Listen, man. That little that little adult survivors <laughs> hack shit. <man. laughs> Their group chat is going crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> That shit got all of my, that shit got all the Rico beat. That, yeah. that one little act. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about none of that thug shit for yeah, now. Clean, like, that shit is clean in hip hop. Oh, ain't it? God. <laughs> clean these streets up. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it. So, what do you guys think? Mel. Yes. Take it away. <laughs> Mel or Ice. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, it's been interesting to see who's been named and shit. Uh, fuck, I don't know, Parks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here with you, all of y'all. My jaw is in my fucking lap. Every time I turn around, there's a fucking lawsuit being dropped. I'm like, you two? Oh, you two? Oh, you, I'm not surprised. Now, nah, there's yeah. a couple of them. Like, some of them old rocker dudes, they were writing in their books. Like, yeah, we was wilding out fucking 16-year-olds. Like, yo, you probably shouldn't put that in the book. Someone's yeah. Gonna, someone's gonna come for you about that. Yeah. I can't wait to read this book. <laughs> <laughs> My book won't have nothing. I didn't say it would. <laughs> Stop your Why would it? Why are you putting me over there then? Because you want to be an author. All right, my book will be about finance. Oh, this is finance, finance. too. No, it ain't. Both of them. <laughs> You're right. This is definitely a 101 masterclass. What? Now to, that's all you got? How to come up? Is that all you got as a woman? As... <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me in the hot seat right now. Come on, man. You need, to be, you, need, you need to sit in lava. Let's go. How you feel about this? What's going this, this, on? This is the really wrong time to meander, especially after episode off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you all. Yo. Okay, so I found the article on Forbes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you had it prepared. Uh, what? So, so Wait, what does Forbes say about this? We, <laughs> we didn't I ask found the Forbes nothing. On Forbes. What did we ask for? Oh, no, no, no. fi- we asked the financial Ford. publications. We, not Forbes. We asked for Duh. For Duh with a Forbes. <laughs> she put the B. I make that mistake too on the keyboard. They're right there. Yeah. <laughs> for Duh. What does For Duh think? <laughs> Um, I think that um, a lot of chickens are coming home to roost. Mm. That's what I fucking think. Oh, she, got, I, she got riddles for us. Yeah, yeah. She's good. She's a pro. Slip. A little no. cliche punch punch yeah, yeah. Slip. Yeah. New no. York unlocked. It's not. I think that that's what's happening though. I think a lot of um, I think a lot of men's bad behavior is coming back to fucking haunt them. And that's the reality of the situation. I think that a lot of uh, I think that that's just what I think about. Yeah. So, what you, you guys know, I, I don't, my research skills is uh, beyond, uh, below subpar. You had, you, had, um, you had enough fights this weekend to... Yes. <laughs> so, the NY Adult, or NYS, whatever it is. Adult Survivors Adult Act. Survivors Act. Mm-hmm. Today is the last day. Yes. To file any to kind file. of lawsuit what against happened? somebody. It was, it was last... Yesterday was the last day. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, can you... Well, midnight the 24th, I guess, then yeah. something? Mm-hmm. This is Saturday. Yeah. So that, oh, mean, correct, that means correct, after today or after yesterday means today you can't file it anymore. What happened is the, what the act was, um, it gave a one year window to file civil charges regardless of when it occurred. So even if statute of limitations would normally have been passed, it opened up a one year window. So I, from last November to this November to get your to get your charges filed. Mm-hmm. That window is closed. Yeah. It's like sex abuse purge. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of women never came forward, and um, like you know, back in the day, a lot of women would have gotten shamed yes, and shit. Yes, of course. Yes. So it gave you an opportunity. Not back in the day. Today, women get shamed. Women get victim blamed all day long. Yes, mm-hmm. but continue. Yes, not just back in the day ish. <laughs> Why y'all bothering my man talking? Why y'all doing that? <laughs> See, Joe bring, bullshit. Oh, he <laughs> 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 cracked his neck. And he drank his tea. Uh-oh. Oh, it took a long go too. Yeah, so back in the day, a lot of women used to get shamed and shit. So more women wouldn't come forward with their charges. True. So they gave the women like that now want to come forward a, a, a full year, yeah. regardless of so when. After shit to, a, a, so after the year's up, no more. You can't file anymore. Well, I wonder yeah, what the purpose is of the, just being a year. 
That's because the statute of limitations had passed for a lot of people right. that no, regretted yeah. ne never coming forward. Okay. So they gave them a full year in which to bring your charges forward if you regretted never having done that. That seems crazy to me. But I, I want to see what the first 51 weeks of, <laughs> of talk was like. Right. <laughs> They showing them niggas in the last hour. Word. <laughs> mm. They try to let you live the whole year. You made the wrong decision. Or this, this, la this last little day. <laughs> Shit. It could have been some negotiation going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Allegedly, there was some. In some of the like, cases. yo, dogs, you know what it is. You know what? the window open. I'm going to try to bring it to you and let's keep this from going there. Mm -hmm. But now I got another option. You know what you did. Let's keep it on the hush. <laughs> now... Cool. All right. Say no more. And then I think mm -hmm. with when, once you get that one explosive case, the floodgates start opening yes. up. I think that, I think and that's what happens too. I think a lot of times, like once one person is successful at they shit, yeah, then it's like, oh, all right, cool. Like, I, and they give you a little bit of strength. Like, yo, I ain't the only one. You know what I'm saying? That this has happened to. So they start all coming forward. Mel, do you believe all the women? <sighs> <laughs> Corey, you have something to say? Mel, he asked no. you a question, Mel. He doesn't. He's not on this show. <laughs> I have no reason not to. I have absolutely no reason not to. I think that um, filing, coming forward is extremely difficult to do if somebody, if you feel like you've been violated by somebody in the past. You believe the Jamie Foxx girl? I honestly. And then I, I want to ask the rest of the room the same question. We're going to go through them one by one so they don't think this is pussy putting around. It's mad on niggas. Honestly, I need a little bit more detail on that. There were so many of them. I did not read the details on that particular case, so I don't know what it says. So if you. Somebody to. So you ice, believe, you know? so you believe her without the details? Huh? <laughs> I said I don't have any reason not to. You and do that, have reason not to. And that, no, no, that's based on me not having the details. That's why I say that. So if I'm given the details, then I can give a little bit more of an opinion on that. So what's the what's the Jamie Foxx one? Uh, he was at Catch Steak, seen seen something nice at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wanted to take a picture. He took it. Said she was beautiful. Said said something else. He said something else. What did he say? He said some other shit. Uh, Something flirtatious. Something slick. Oh. And, then they, and then they took a walk mm -hmm. to the rooftop, and he got handsy mm -hmm. in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, the report says he grabbed a tit, finger banged her in the corner. Security was there and did absolutely nothing. And then her friends came, and that's when he stopped. Jamie Foxx denies all of this, says he plans on countersuing. Uh, says this is the second time that this young lady has attempted to foul this. The first time this was dismissed, uh, and now she's trying it again. That is the, those are the Jamie Foxx details. Mm. Do y'all believe Jamie Foxx is a sexual abuser? No, I don't think he is. Off of those, just <clears throat> excuse me, just off of those details. But again, this woman has brought the charges before; they were heard and denied, or. Dismissed. Dismissed, yes. Mm -hmm. So obviously someone already looked at this and saw that. There's he, merit? There was no merit. There was no, no merit. merit. No mm -hmm. merit. There was no merit. There will be people with that uh, adult survivor's act window. To that abuse the situation. In. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's with any window you get for where somebody see hey, I can make some money. There yeah. will be people to try to abuse it. Um, Not saying um, that everyone will. Mm -hmm. There will be people to try that. Yeah. Especially in this instance, excuse me, where you've already tried it and it didn't work. Then but again, I don't Yeah. There's always gonna there's always going to be somebody who tries to take advantage of a of a situation and it's a money grab for them and they just kind of disguise themselves within the whole, you know, situation of you know, abuse survivors. Like, the, that's the reality of the situation. There's scammers everywhere in every, situ in every kind of situation. But with this particular Jamie Foxx situation, the fact that he's willing to counter sue, I mean, like, that's a huge question, is like, if you're not guilty, then why settle? That's, what, that's the question that a lot of people are asking when it comes to these lawsuits, when it comes to Diddy's lawsuit. Oh. If you're not guilty, why settle? And why settle for such an exorbitant amount? 
everybody's got an assumption as to what they think Diddy must have settled with Cassie for, but her asking for like 30 million and then her suddenly the next day being like, 20, less than 24 hours later, just, that was, it, it was a lot of money. So, I don't know, with the Jamie Foxx thing. As a person that's been in the industry, right, mm -hmm. and have experienced what you've experienced, does this hit, does this bother you at all or when you hear these stories? Because not everybody um, is like you, right? And I'm not saying anything bad or throwing And that's shots what at I you. keep in my head as well. Yes, not everybody is like you. Like, mm -hmm. you've been through a lot of hair stories, and I'm not trying to make it sad, but... Does it hit home for you? How, what, how do you feel about these things? Are you, can you relate to the women more because you know what you've experienced in this industry? On one side, on speaking about Jamie Foxx in particular, like I've only known him to be a really stand-up dude. You Got know it. what I mean? Like I've been in certain situations with him where he is just like, he, he doesn't take those kinds of, you know, chances, you yeah. know what I mean? Yes. Where they, where they, he could take advantage of them. I haven't seen him take advantage of them. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't negate the fact that somebody might have, might have had this experience, you know? So I'm cautious about saying like, saying that. Um, but on the flip side, I've definitely been in situations where somebody tried to take something that they didn't, they had no consent to take. You know, so yeah. it's just, it gets, the waters are muddy a gotcha. little bit, you know? Yeah. It is like, as being a woman, it is, you kind of feel like you have to have the answer for everybody, but you can't. No, Joe Biden. <laughs>